I am turning up for TK24 Sports Now. On today's show, we're going to be looking at the aftermath of Arsenal exiting Europe for the first time in 25 years. There'll be no European football at Arsenal Football Club. Can this be accepted? Hold on for that thought. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss another show. If you're new to the show, watch us here on YouTube or Facebook. Like the page, like, like the channel. Make us grow, help us grow. You ready? Let's go. So Arsenal crashed out of Europe, embarrassing to Unai Emery. The guy that Arsenal fans actually wanted out of the club because they said he was pathetic, he tactically wasn't aware. Well, he looked tactically aware last night, but then again, so could my son and daughter against Mikel, against Mikel Arteta. Anyone could. How does a manager play two formations that you've never played all season, or even last season, or even pre-season, put this team out to try and be special and do something good to get through to the final, to play Man United and get their ass whooped? Stan and Josh, your last gesture of goodwill, I'll ask of this of you. Please fire this man. Whether it's now or the end of, end of the season, get him gone. Because if you keep him, it's going to show the Arsenal fans that you are about not winning. You don't care that the fact that we're not going to be playing in Europe. You don't care that we're not even challenging for the league. You don't even care that we're trying to get into the Champions League. You don't care that we don't even win the, the Carabao Cup. You don't care that we don't even retain the FA Cup. All under the guidance of this manager that you elected to have. What does that say about Edu? Edu is useless. What has this guy done apart from get rid of the scouting network? The very foundation that every club uses, as well as analytics, to get the best players in. But he got rid of them. Vinay, what the hell does this man do? You know what, when I was doing this video, my partner was saying to me, Ty, are you going to be calm? Or are you going to be cool? And I said, you know what, I've had 24 hours to think about this. I had 24 hours to get my bearings in check so I don't come across as ranting. I don't, this is my first take doing this, and I can't help it. This is the truth. This is how I feel. This is not for reaction. This is just the truth. I've been an Arsenal supporter for a long time. Over three decades, yes, I'm 40 years old. I've been an Arsenal fan for a long time. I've been there for the highs, I've been there for the lows, but mainly for my, for my time supporting Arsenal, I've been there for a good, a good high, and that's from Arsene Wenger. I had some good moments with George Graham, but the biggest ones were with Arsene Wenger. Even when it was going rubbish, we were still a bit relevant. A bit relevant. Yeah, we get slapped up by buying here and there, but I'll tell you one thing, Arsene Wenger didn't wasn't the one controlling the purse strings. It was Stan, after all this time. It was him. Because he wasn't putting money in. He wasn't doing an Abramovich. No one was actually doing Abramovich. Because Abramovich knew what it took to win. You've got to put money in. If you've got a big company, you've got to put money in to keep on building, keep on putting in your R&D department. Research and development. That's the backbone for any company to build is research and development. If you don't have that infrastructure, you're not going to build. You're not going to grow, and you're not going to win, and you're not going to compete. So I'm not trying to be emotional, so now I'm going to calm down. Do I think Arteta is going to be sacked? Yes. Do I think it's going to be now? No. When? Hmm. Could be end of the season. But then again, Josh and Stan are going to have to sit down and do a power play moment. They're going to have to decide if we keep this man, does that show we've got no ambition at all? Or if we keep this man, it shows that we have faith in him. But then again, does this, does this make our, you know, tenor being the owners even weaker? We're going to get more questions thrown at us. Doesn't matter, we don't talk to them anyway, so who cares? If this man keeps his job, we are going to lose a lot of players next season. You saw the players walking off the pitch, they look disgusted. They look embarrassed. And because they were following, following tactics given to them by the manager. They were given instructions, formations given to them by the manager. There's no doubt that these players are thinking, what the F is going on? How can we have a midfielder playing in left back? One of our dominant midfielders may not be the best playing in left back. You've got Cedric who can play there. You could have put Callum Chambers there if you wanted to. You could have even put Bradley Beller in there if you wanted to. I'm not even surprised he didn't put Leno there. It's not even a joke, people. It's not a joke. What this man has done is destroy the club in a season and a half. I was all clapping when they appointed us. I was thinking, oh, man, this is it. He sold me. He sold me, that. He sold me more down the river. More. He sold me down the waterfall. All the big non-negotiables. I don't take this. I don't take that. This guy was a, a selling PR machine. 
But yet, he couldn't back it up. Not one point has he backed up in all the things he said. How many rotational things have we done this season? Different formations, whether it's three at the back, six at the back, ten at the back, ten up front. This guy has not got a clue and it has to stop now. Doesn't matter if he wins his next four games. It really doesn't. That's not going to save your, well, no legacy at all whatsoever. Once you're booed out of the club, you stay out of the club. Stay out of the club. <sighs> okay. I'm really going to have to dial this down when I actually record, when I have to edit this. But guys, it's not a joke. What he has done in these two seasons has taken us back further. Emery didn't take us back that far. He finished, what, fifth? Got to the Europa League final. Yeah, he made a mistake in the last few games of the Premier League. And then the players, the same players that didn't like him no more, these are the same players playing under Arteta. So there's something within the players as well that they, the most majority of them don't have a backbone. But yet we saw, we re-signed Aubameyang. Okay, he could have had pulls for that because he, he played quite well in the last two seasons. But really 300 grand a week and he still kept him as captain? And what does that show you when it comes to the transfer window that we didn't even go out and go for a captain material, a leader material in the transfer market? Partey looks like a bust. The guy can't even pass. Last night was embarrassing. Okay, he could have been by himself, but there were still other red shirts around him to pass to, and you couldn't even do that. He looks a bust. And that's 45 million down the drain. It's gone. Pepe, 70 odd million down the drain. You're lucky to get 35, 40 for him. 40 on a good day. Laka's going to have to go. A bad man's going to have to go. I'm, I'm serious. This is not even emotional. I'm just being serious about this. From the back, Leno, Bellerin, um, Holden, Cedric, David Luiz. This is five from the back already. Go to midfield. Shaq has got to go. Pepe's got to go. El Nene has to go. Ceballos, so he's on loan, so he's going. Odegaard, he can go too. That's ten. Get to the forwards. And Ketia has got to go. Reese Nelson has got to go. Lacazette, I said it already, he's got to go. Batman has going to have to go. That's nearly 14 players I'm talking about exiting the club. This, this team is rotten. It's not strong-minded. It has no willpower. It's got no backbone. So even if you're the captain and you know your manager's giving you instructions to go out and play, you should be on that pitch saying, listen, change it up. Change it up. Smith Rowe, drop back with Partey in the midfield. Odegaard, stay central. Pepe, drive down the wing. Saka, drive down the wing. Whip the balls in. Just whip those... Oh, my God. Whip the balls into me. Give me options. But it didn't happen. You could have even just said, Odegaard, drop back. Smith Rowe, stay as you are. Help out Partey. So, Aubameyang's not that captain. When he says he's got to lead by, you know performances and whatnot. Shut up, man. Seriously, shut up. you got to talk on the pitch. you got to lead. you got to be the floor general. I'm trying to calm down again. Listen, Arteta's going to be sacked. Daniel Ek will buy this club. Make no mistake about it. By the start of this season, of next season, should I say, he will be in charge of this club and Arteta will be gone. Edu will be gone. Vinay will be gone. They all will be gone and turfed out. And no one's going to shed a tear or anything else. If anyone's got anything good to say about this manager, seriously, you've been drinking that Kool-Aid far too much. What is it, one punch in that one? Jesus. Okay. I've got to say this, though. If you like this portion of the show, make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification so you don't miss the show every time we upload. Thank you for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please like the page. If you like us on YouTube, please like us as well and subscribe. You gotta laugh at the end of it. I've said my rant, I feel better now. I can go out and enjoy the rest of my day. Guys, it's been emotional, but Arteta will be gone soon. See you later, bye.